And welcome into another edition of No Holding Back alongside my son, Luke Holden, Ben Holden with you, joined by Robbie Jackson, who I got to know real well in his four years at St. Cloud State. He is joining us from an undisclosed location in Cali, Robbie. Is that right? <laughs> oh, I'm on a private yacht right now. Are you? Oh, okay. then, no. <laughs> Minor league hockey's been good to you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I just saw all those NFL owners, like, drafting from their mansions and their yachts and their private yeah. islands and stuff. So, I don't know. I thought that would have been cool. But, no, yeah, just back home in, in California. Um, Luke, it's nice to finally meet you. I've, yeah. uh, every time I've talked with your dad in the last four years, he's mentioned that we need to connect. So, it's nice to finally do that. Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, looking forward to talking to you a bit and having you on. It's going to be going to be a lot of fun. So. Yeah, he's uh, he's a big fan of yours. He loved the way you played. And I yep. think, oh, above and beyond, let's be honest, he loves your Warriors fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're probably you're probably the first person I've met in the hockey world that appreciates that I'm a Warriors fan. Most of my Timberwolves uh, fans that are teammates weren't too happy with me. Yep. Right. Yeah. Well, before we're going to get into a bunch of different stuff here, and for those that are watching, thinking, "Oh, Holden's going to talk to another hockey player, another coach, and they're just going to talk hockey for an hour." <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit of hockey. We're going to talk hockey down the road, Robbie and I, but. Um, just kind of get us up to speed on, uh, you know, since you left St. Cloud and, and uh, you know, where you've been in the minors and where you're at now. I know you're in a holding pattern, but what are the team, what are the stops you've made so far, Robbie? Uh, well, first of all, my dad just said hi, Ben. Hi, back to Bob. <laughs> um, so I signed with the San Antonio. This is actually interesting because, like, I'm in a little bit of, like, a state of purgatory kind of. Just with – I signed, so I signed with San Antonio. Uh, the Rampage, which is St. Louis's American League team. And then I was in Tulsa, like their East Coast League affiliate. And But I signed a two-year deal with them. And in February, I think, maybe March, um, San Antonio got bought by Vegas. So, yeah, like it just created like nobody knew. Like, I was the only guy who had a two-year deal with San Antonio. Like, everyone else was just one year, and then, you know, they could resign. So, like, nobody knew what that meant for me. Like, am I part of Vegas now? Like, do I go right. somewhere else, even though my contract's with San Antonio? So, yeah, it was it was a weird, uh, confusing kind of like two weeks before I got sorted all out. But now I guess mm -hmm. I'm guess I just I'm with St. Louis's organization. So, uh, they're, obviously, their team's going to Springfield in the American League. So, that's uh, hopefully where I'll be next year. All right. Thought maybe you're going to get reunited with Schultz there for a minute, huh? <laughs> oh well, we actually we were playing each other. Like I was in Chicago when the season got canceled, and okay. like we were playing we were playing Jimmy's team the next night. So I got to see him for like ten minutes at the rink, but like before we got sent home, and uh, like we couldn't even like he was like yeah, you know I was going to go over to his apartment like hang out. I guess he's got a golf simulator, all that. So like we we're going to go <laughs> yeah, we we're going to hit the sticks and like have some fun and uh, you know. I reconnect but we just had to I had to text him from my hotel room because we weren't supposed to leave you know right yep. last thing I'll ask uh, you hockey wise so you're, I'm sure you're working out and doing stuff every day what else are you doing to to you know to keep busy and keep fit uh golf um playing with my dog as much as I can uh I mean that's about it I've been playing like I said I got my dad hooked on Fortnite so I don't really have <laughs> access to my PlayStation <laughs> What have you uh, done, Robbie? <laughs> well, so, like, he's, he's a high school English teacher, as you know, Ben. And yes. I, I don't know. I guess he just got sick of hearing his students talk about it all the time, and he couldn't participate. <laughs> so that was one of the first things he told me when I got home was, uh, was you know, I, I want you to teach me Fortnite. Like, that's what I want to learn in quarantine. So um, it was a slow start, uh, a lot of painstaking, painstaking uh, hours. I guess that I had to watch and kind of just take a back seat, but he's he's getting pretty good now. I mean, for someone who started a couple of weeks ago, like he's getting pretty good. So yep. now it's now it's fun to watch him as opposed to you know a few weeks ago when it was just cringing in the back. He can hear me <laughs> saying all this, by the way. So I don't want you to think I'm talking behind his back, like saying it right to his face. That's awesome. <laughs> That reminds me a little bit of me and him trying to play uh, NBA 2K with each other. That's, uh, that's Oh, I yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> Loser. Right? I, dude, I do good for like a quarter, Robbie, and then he puts a 50 on me in one quarter. He's toy, man. I love it. Well, do you play with the Warriors, Luke? That's unfair. Yeah, well, I mean. Thank you. you know, I mean. Yeah. I <laughs> you got to give your dad the Warriors. That's not fair. He's tried. I still suck. 
<laughs> I mean, I've had to do that. Like, like I said, all my Minnesota teammates who don't appreciate that I'm a Warriors fan. Like, yeah. Like Jimmy, for example, was yeah. never like he was into two K, but never really. But like he he would play with me sometimes. He got good, but yeah, there there were times where like I would just I'd invite guys over and they'd play two K and like they'd leave after the second quarter. Like man, I don't want to play anymore. Like, yeah. it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> me, yo, Ben, me and uh, Mikey Iceman actually used to have a game day ritual of playing two K. Did you? Oh wow. Yeah, our uh, our junior year, we had like the routine down, man. Like we'd have morning skate, team meal. I'd go over to his play. Like, we lived across the hall from each other. Okay. So I'd just walk over, and I'd beat him by usually 15 or 20 in 2K. And, uh, well, that was the, that was the super – he actually just Snapchat me, by the way. Wow, that's funny. I'm going to have to tell him I called him out. Um, Great. He, like, the superstition and ritual was, like, if I didn't beat him by at least 10, like, we weren't going to score that night. It's so, like there was one night where, like, he actually beat me, and, like, we got shut out. Like, oh, later that, like, that wow. afternoon, yeah. So, I mean – he never took it easy on me, but, like, usually – like, he wasn't too upset if I'm leaving the place and I win by, you know, 10 or 15. Right. Hey, that's fine. We're scoring tonight. Like, that's fine. Yeah. And you both did plenty of that, so it worked out in the end, I guess. Yeah. Uh, he, he did a little more than me, but I'm just lucky he didn't stay for four years, so I got to pass him in points. <laughs> <laughs> if he would if he would have stayed If he would have stayed his senior year, he would have left us all in the dust, but – <laughs> so I want to I want to kind of go back to a little bit at your time at St. Cloud State. Uh oh, you uh, had the opportunity to do a little show with this guy oh, right God. here. I kind of yeah. wanted to ask. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask how that went, and then uh, just a little bit of the behind the scenes as well, and uh, some of the stuff that, that happened off camera as well. <laughs> so well, there's funny. There is no behind the scenes to that, man. Like I know it's a surprise to a lot of people, but Ben can just talk uninterrupted for about. 20 minutes so it's most of the episodes that I did off the ice with Robbie J were like you know we'd, we record for about 15 20 minutes and then uh like me and the production team would edit it down and kind of pick what we wanted and they'd be about you know two minutes roughly I think the one with Ben is like seven minutes <laughs> and they, they, they pressed record and then when we were done talking they hit stop record and that's what they put on YouTube there's well, there's no behind the scenes absolutely nothing to that because yeah. Yeah, I, I expected it to be a little five minute conversation. And I mean, we both have the gift of gab, but yes, yeah. ben, ben just kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we ended up, weren't we talking about movies or something? Tommy we, Boy? We talked about everything, man. We talked about Tommy Boy. We talked about the Warriors. We talked about hockey. We talked about uh, Michigan State basketball because of Draymond Green. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, it's, it was the first ever time that it's been a dual interview. I still look for the Big Lebowski for him. Yeah, my dad. My dad says he still looks for Big Lebowski memorabilia for you. Nice. Yeah. Appreciate that. White Russians, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was the first ever dual interview I've ever been in. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm happy to say I was part of it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's like because usually I'd be the one interviewing my teammates, and, you know, it's Ben's job. That's just what he does, what he loves. <laughs> so he just flip the script. It's, we, yeah, we, you know what? Sorry, it's it's uh, it's different to be interviewed. It is, and uh, yeah, you know, we. Did I put you talk. on the hot seat? Were you a little uncomfortable? No, man. You can ask me whatever you want. We can put me <laughs> on a hot seat again if you want. I don't care. But well, yeah. Starman and I did one for the league. Uh, we did some stuff with Josh and Michael Weisman, who does communications for the league. Oh and, yeah. You know, it was like Luke and I've done about thirty of these so far. Yeah. So we started. So here's how we started, Robbie. We started yeah. with a podcast. I love the phone. name, by the way. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. You guys, you guys the, knocked that one out of the park. Yeah. It started with the podcast on the phone. Yep. Then we got this thing called Wirecast that we couldn't figure. He's my tech guy. Yeah. I mean, he, without him, I, this thing doesn't happen. Let's I be honest. Tell. You know me. I can tell. So, <laughs> hey, Robbie, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think Luke's going to send you an email. All right, Luke, do you want to start recording this? I don't right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, I texted you. I said, I'm sending you an email. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we start with a wire cast thing that doesn't work for yeah. a week. Thankfully they gave me the 600 bucks back. Yeah. So uh, we ended up getting this and, and it's been awesome. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's great to connect with, you know, people like yourself, obviously. So we've kind of more. Yeah. So uh, what do you got? Yeah. So, Fire away, man. Um, You're interviewing right away. Now, man. He's <laughs> on the hot seat. It's open so, season. That's right. <laughs> so episodes three and four of the last dance for last night. I'm sure you watched both of those. I kind of, I just want to get your take on both the episodes. What were your, 
kind of major takeaways, what you thought about it, and uh, and and mostly just kind of talking about like a recap, if you will. Um, I'm sorry to let you down, as well as all of my basketball loving friends that have all talked. I haven't seen a single episode. Why? Really? Because when my dad is off PlayStation, I have to take advantage. So I was playing two K. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, yeah, we had, we were planning, we were actually, like, my mom brought it up the other night. Um, we were going to watch episodes one and two, like, yesterday afternoon, and then watch three and four at night when they aired. And we ended up going on a bike ride. We kind of did something similar. Uh, I can say this now. Uh, so we went on a bike ride to a family friend's house. We call him Uncle Ron. And he lives, like, right on the estuary, right in the bay, actually, to San Francisco. You can see see San Francisco, uh, the skyline from his backyard and the Golden Gate Bridge. It's, uh, it's beautiful from his patio. So there's a bike trail behind his house. It goes around the entire island. Two miles out there, stopped at his place, drank, had, had some margaritas, and just talked about everything for about an hour, hour and a half, and then, you know, biked back. And so, like, we did that instead of watching episode one and two. And then, yeah, last night we just – we had dinner out here on the patio, and we just, we just haven't done it. Like, I don't know why. I I keep up with it, though, like, on social media, like, on Twitter and stuff. Rodman's an animal, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See him, Mike. See him, Mike. I'm going to Vegas for a couple of days. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, Could I you mean, imagine? Could you imagine if somebody did that and, like – Oh, I mean, man. maybe you guys do that. Maybe you guys do do that in the National League, but that's just crazy. It's like he yeah. makes his own All Star break. You can't just do yeah. that. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. With Carmen yeah. Electra, no less. <laughs> right. Right. And good for you, man. <laughs> good for you. He was. Uh, yeah. He was a. He was a different dude, man. I love the way he played, though. He. Uh, I was gonna say you probably you probably know more about all that than we do. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, well, so when were you born? 97. 97, okay. so yeah, so you didn't, I mean, you probably only remember seeing Jordan in a Wizards uniform if you even saw that, right? I mean, yeah, I don't even remember, like, seeing that. But it's just, like, common knowledge. Like, Jordan's a bull. Like, if you know anything about yeah. the NBA, yeah. Mike was not a Chicago bull. Definitely. Like, you don't, yeah, you don't, you, I forgot he was on the Wizards. Are they, you think they're even going to touch on that in the documentary? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I would, we, you know, Luke and yeah. I were, were talking earlier and, you know, I think they're, it's, they're obviously going to touch on the fact that he went away and played minor league baseball. Yeah. I mean, they're going to touch on that. Yeah. And he, he skipped what away. an embarrassment that was, eh? It wasn't good. Yikes. Yeah. It wasn't good. So. Yeah, who so, do you think, who do you think's worse at baseball, Jordan or Tim Tebow? <sighs> Jordan. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. What do you think, man? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like Jordan, I mean, not, not to say Tim Tebow doesn't get stuff handed to him just because, you know, he was an NFL quarterback, won playoff games. And stuff. Did he win Heisman? Did Tebow won a Heisman. Yeah, he won yeah, a Heisman he as a Heisman. freshman. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah. So he's a Heisman winner. So, like, obviously, like, I see that more as a publicity stunt versus Jordan actually thought that, like, because that was Jordan's mindset. Like, he thought, whatever I do, I'm going to be the best at it. Yep. Like, I see Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow had to choose football over baseball in high school. And, you know, he's like, ah. Once he realized he couldn't really cut it in football, he's like, oh, well, I miss baseball so much. But whereas, you know, the three of us would just go join a rec league or join a <laughs> softball league in the summer, Tim yeah. Tebow thought because he's got the clout that he can go play major league baseball. He's stuck in, like, single A, isn't he? I believe so, Something yeah. Like he, might, he might be up to <laughs> double, but I don't know. I just think he's got a, I think he's got a better swing. That's what I'm basing my opinion on, Robbie. It's That's not fair. much. Yeah. Well, he's he's left-handed, and lefties just – they just have the pretty swings. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. yeah. Um, was, was, did, were you a lefty? Did you play baseball? Were you a lefty? No, I was – I've been – I mean, I'm right-handed, right-footed. Oh, your dad, your dad gave you, like, a knowing look, like I was, like, giving you props. <laughs> I'm all screwed up. I right. Yeah, you kind of looked at like like Ben kind of looked at me like hey like just talking about lefties, you know like like yeah. nudge, nudge. <laughs> right left handed, <laughs> throw right handed, kick left footed. I'm all over the map. Yeah, that's weird. I'm the same way, man. I golf right handed. Huh? You are. Yeah, I golf right handed, throw left handed, and like bat and shoot left handed. Hmm. Like hockey and baseball, yeah. Yep. All messed up. And I all write right. right handed. 
Stop. Sorry. So since you haven't uh, since you haven't watched the Last Dance yet, uh, <laughs> when you can get in and watch the television, that's not playing video games with uh, you know whoever from Which Vancouver. Uh, yeah. What do you say? Nothing. 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 I was just looking to see if he was still playing. Oh, okay. I think we might. I think we might have bullied him into doing some chores around the house. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the best thing you've watched in uh, the the quarantine we're in? My dad, my dad was really adamant. I'd never seen the Blues Brothers movie, so my dad was really like, "That's like a classic, kind of like like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and like yeah. Big Lebowski." Um, so he made me watch that. Um, there's a oh Ford versus Ferrari. Have you guys seen that one? I've heard I, it's good, yeah, I, but I haven't I, seen yeah, it yet. Yep. No. Yeah, it just came out um, on Amazon, I guess. Um, we watched that. It's like it's two and a half, maybe three hours long. Uh, but it's it's really good. Like it includes every detail. It's incredibly like historically accurate. Um, Christian Bale and Matt Damon are really good. Um, I made my parents watch Knives Out. Have you guys seen that? No, I haven't seen that yet either. Oh man, that. it's like a it's like a who done it. Like the 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 review says it's like a who done it for like the 21st century. You know, it's like yeah. Apple watches, like iPhones, like Sky, all that. You know, it's not like you know murder on the train and. Like a clue board type thing, you know. It's like a. Was that the one with Sandler? Adam Sandler. Is that the one with Sandler? No, no that's no. the one. Um, what's that? That's, that's him and Jennifer Aniston. It's like yes. murder on a cruise ship or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Sorry, threw you off track there. Very good. Um, <laughs> yeah. So not much. I'm just. I got hooked on Criminal Minds actually, like the TV show before quarantine. So I've just been using this to to knock it out. I think I started on like season two, and now I'm on season eight. I've just been ripping through them. Right on. Easy to <laughs> yeah. do now. I mean, he put me to work, man. I'm working. I'm working as much as I would be if I was working in general. Yeah. It's not a vacation for you, huh? <laughs> no, nah, man. You know, I, I was good for. You can ground him. Ground yeah. him. <laughs> well, he lives with his mom. I mean, he's out of college. You know, he's freshman oh, year yeah. has been, you know, interesting for him. And, yeah. uh, you know, he transferred and then, you know, he's there for two months. Now he's living with his mom. So he. His mom throws him out. It's like, go to your dad's and go do some TV with him, I guess. I <laughs> Just got sick of it. That's bad. Yeah, I'd say it's worked out pretty well for you guys. Yeah. It's going all right. Yeah, it's doing, yeah, it's going pretty well. So Keep firing Were away, you, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Top, anything. <laughs> you so, can throw them back, too, brother. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask you, like, what's the best thing you guys have seen? Luke, you go ahead. Oh, man. Um, I mean, I watched It Chapter 2. Uh, I thought that was pretty good. Clowns. Long, long movie. <laughs> uh, but I, I really enjoyed it. Um, Bill Hader, he's a great actor. He's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I, I, I liked everybody in the movie uh, for the most part. And it was a pretty good follow-up. Um, I mean, you know, you obviously – have probably seen, I don't know if you watched the uh, the TV series or the TV movie that was that was on in the nineties. You might have, Robbie. What was it? The same title? Yeah, it was it. No, I don't it, it was a TV movie. No. So was, I mean, I know, like, I know what he's talking about with Pennywise the clown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So you know, I think uh, I, that that was probably the biggest thing I've watched. Obviously, the Last Dance. Been keeping up with that. Um, other than that, I mean, I've been watching. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of old MotoGP races because uh, they're doing a ton of vintage stuff on their YouTube channel. Interesting. Um, so I've been been watching those here and there, seeing you know Valentino Rossi and all those the, you know, all the you know greats of, uh, of yeah. the past you know two decades and things like that. But um, so you you'd kind of be interested in Ford versus Ferrari then? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, uh, I I I want to watch it for sure. Now that I know it's on Amazon, I definitely have to check it out. So yeah. But um, but that's that's about all I've really watched. I don't know about about you, but. Uh, the best movie I watched uh, in quarantine, Robbie, is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I don't know if you've seen really, that. that's a good one. Yeah, my dad wants us to watch it. I don't oh. know. I just I get weird vibes from that movie. It's a good flick, man. Um, I loved it. And then isn't it like would... seven hours long? No, it's not that long. <laughs> it's not that long. I think it's about the same as Ford versus Ferrari. It's like two and a half. My mom, my mom fell asleep twice during Ford versus Ferrari. <laughs> really. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was definitely like my it was my dad's pick of the movie, and I was interested. There were times it was like really slow. Hmm. Um, I, I liked really, it. I, you, I, I thought that was a good flick. And then uh, for me, from in terms of like my my girlfriend's been watching Ozark. I think she's watching it now for the third time. <laughs> 
And then uh, she's watched uh, that. And then really for me, I'm, I mean, The Last Dance, man. I hate to say it. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but. I'm missing out. Well, you guys aren't the first one to call me out on it. I'm sure I'm you won't be the last. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's compelling, man. It's really compelling. Yep. Ben, you've just been watching reruns of old sports, huh? Uh, not, no, that's, not that's really. What I get for, that's what I get from your Twitter feed. Um, a little bit, yeah. I mean, we did a couple things in the league. We watched the championship game. You guys were in last year and did a bunch of stuff with that. <laughs> Sorry. Me, 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 Newsy, and Blake all hopping on Twitter to roast each other. <laughs> yes, that was classic. That was classic. So we did that, and then I watched uh, Omaha the year I was in the – I had them in the regionals in 15. Yeah. And, uh, you know, North Dakota, Wisconsin a few weeks back when they played in the regional. But I'm not really – I mean, there's some games I'll watch that are, you know, throwbacks, but not, I'm not really doing a whole lot. I'm not really watching a whole lot of sports. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying that, but I'm just <laughs> – I mean, we're doing this and, and yep. having fun, man, and just yeah. kind of and getting outside when I can and exercising, dude. Yeah. Me, Newsy, Newsy and I were actually on FaceTime when we, uh, when we were doing that on Twitter. <laughs> were you really? <laughs> yeah, he, he was checking Twitter. He goes, he goes hey, man, I'm going to – like, what did he say? Like you Blake, both- Blake tweeted, Blake tweeted at him or something. He goes, "I'm just gonna roast him. Like we'll have a little fun." That was that was our relationship though. Like Newsy, Newsy and I greet each other by like insulting each other. <laughs> How's so, he doing? He's doing well. He's actually he's back in Minnesota. He got an apartment back there, so I think he's like he wants to train there and stuff when the when everything picks up back up. Um, cause he spent uh, Blake Winicky got married this last summer. Good for him. And so Newsy, yeah, Newsy. Uh, came in for the wedding and like trained with us for a little bit um, for like a week in the summer and I think he just he liked it you know like hockey like Minnesota is like the best spot for hockey players to spend their summer at least from what I've seen but I guess everything kind of beats California like there's no ice rinks or hockey gyms really around here so I've just been I've I've been blown away by like Minnesota in the summer it's like a lot of fun like you can skate and work out every day and you just can't do that back here yeah. yeah. So I have, I have a question for you. I'm going to hold something up. Is this a sore spot or not for you? <laughs> yeah. Now that on? You like, you really <laughs> had to do that. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Bro. Um, how, how bad about, a sore how, spot? All kidding aside. I was really sore. Like, dude, we yeah. live, we live like, so you know how the A's and the Raiders like share the same stadium? Yeah, yep. yeah. We like we used to go into the hot tub. I mean, my parents might still do it. We used to go into the hot tub like on nights during A's games, and like we could hear the PA announcer like in our backyard. Wow. You know, like now batting number three, Eric Chavez. Like now batting twenty two, Eric. Burr. Like we could like hear that. So yep. yeah, like that. That's how close we live to the stadium. So kidding. I've been to four or five Raider games, I think, in my life. Just that's tough with. Uh, like it being the same season as hockey, but yeah, no, we were pretty. I'm I'm like pissed about it. Some like some of the people are like, oh, we're still gonna follow this, and I'm like, nah, I'm really pissed about it. I actually get. I had a Ra- like a Raiders hoodie just like that, you know, just with the shield and said Raiders. Yeah. And I gave it away to one of my teammates this year. He was actually from Vegas, in hmm. Tulsa. And like he like they've never had a sports team before like that. Like, you know, they had, they just got the Golden Knights and now they're right. Yeah. Right. So, he was hyped. I said, dude, like, screw them. Like, you can just ha- you can have the hoodie. Like, it doesn't say <laughs> Oakland Raiders on it, so you can have it. Like, I just gave it away, man. Yep. It was actually a Christmas present a few years back. So, like, I'm sorry I'm re-gifting. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, now, I mean, now I don't have a team. Now I don't have an NFL team. So, I guess I'm just a fantasy football player with, with no team. Yep. You play uh, – you do fantasy and just football or other sports oh, too? Dude, um, just football. Yeah. It's it's tough to keep up like with basketball and hockey and baseball like I can't keep up every day like at a day. Yeah. I just I'm not that interested. Um and it's just, it's easy with football. They play once a week and you can do that. And it, it like I said now I don't have a team so it kind of gives me a reason to watch. Right. So, so. with the Warriors I know he's going to fire a bunch <laughs> of qu- with them moving across the bay. How do you feel about that? I mean, at least they're staying like in the bay area, you know. Yeah. Yep. Like, that's a thing. It's, again, like, they were, like, when they, like, when 
when like ABC is doing the playoffs and stuff and they're showing overheads of Oracle arena, like you can see my house and like some of those things. I didn't know so, you guys were that oh. close, man. I, when Dude. we were there last summer, I should have called your dad. I didn't know you were that close. My dad was actually pissed about that. I remember that. Because you said <laughs> you had was? Yeah, yeah, you said you'd hit him up and you didn't. Well, I got busy. I was trying to sightsee him all over <laughs> town, man. Tell him I apologize. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if the relationship is <laughs> repairable. I think, it's, I think you're too far gone. It's been a while. He's been waiting a year for this apology. <laughs> well, I am sorry. I didn't know you were that close. Uh, yeah, dude, we literally, uh, so we used to have a season tickets and my dad didn't get off work till like five and like my mom and I would always go at like four, four thirty, uh, to watch batting practice back when I was, you know, like a cute little kid and I used to get balls thrown to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I go, now I go to the game and I'm just in the way. Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> so like I, I used to go and watch batting practice to try to get some balls and, you know, just cause I was a baseball player. I loved watching it, you know, seeing how far guys could hit a ball in batting practice is always fun to me. Yep. And so we'd be there and my dad would usually show up in like the second or third inning. What he'd do is he would get home and he'd hop on his razor scooter and he would scooter to the game, put the scooter in the trunk of my mom's car and then meet us inside. And then we would like all drive back together. You know, that way we didn't have to take two cars. Hmm. That's so, cool. Like, my, my neighbors, my neighbors who are Raider fans, like have walked to games before. Wow. Yeah. A little bit of a hike, but it's, it's about, it's about a 45 hour walk, I would say, but uh, not for me, especially after watching the Raiders get smoked. Like they have pretty much my whole life. Yeah. Yep. I, I went to a lot of games. I was stationed uh, in Oakland for a while there, you know, in the Navy. And yeah. Across the bay, we were at the where the uh, the medical ship used to be is where I was stationed right there, where all the cranes are at. This, I, I always think of that scene in Moneyball when he's driving around at all those cranes. Yeah. And uh, that hits home for you. Yeah, I went to. A, I loved it out there. I almost stayed out there, man. And uh, my cousin did. He went to Berkeley, and you know, he's a brainiac. Really? And yeah, he lives in San Mateo now, and uh, he's very smart. Um, yeah. But I, I went to a ton of A's games, man. Back I was there ninety one to ninety three. Um, and, and love going and watching the A's and uh, my my was favorite. That, that wasn't the Bash Bros time, was it? That was the before. They were there, yeah. They were around. Really? Yeah, they were around. My my favorite line in Moneyball is: "There's rich teams, there's poor teams, there's fifty feet of crap, and then there's us." I love that movie, man. It's a great flick. Oh, uh, there was. Uh, we were we were talking baseball yesterday. But my dad and I made like the money ball references, like, like you know, who do you want batting lead off? Like the guy that gets on base. It's like, so what right. does this guy do? And I was like, guys, please don't make me point at Pete again. <laughs> <laughs> that went that went over their heads. That's I awesome. Thought was, I thought it was funny. I'm glad you guys appreciated it. I do. I love yeah. that movie, man. Yeah, I like I like my favorite one is when, it's Pete, right? Like the guy that's yeah, um, that's Jonah, just, that's Jonah yeah. Hill. Yeah, when he goes. I asked you to do like, I asked you to do six player reports. Yeah, I did 48. <laughs> I lied. I did 52. I don't know why I just lied about that. Yeah. <laughs> that He's, one cracks me. Yeah, I don't know why I just lied. <laughs> you went to Yale. You've seen that movie. Have you watched that with I think, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I watched it. Yale and baseball. Yeah, you yeah, went to Yale eight. and it was all about, you know. Yeah. The, uh, what, what, what was the word I'm looking for? The nomics, the, uh, what they call it? Hmm. It was like analytics. Uh, I'm kind of blank too. Analytics, yeah. It was kind of like analytics, analytics before we called it analytics. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah. Now I'm gonna. We I'm just called it. Up. We just called it Billy Ball. Billy Ball, yeah. Billy Bean. Yeah, he's, um, he's still there, right? Rose up. They're actually moving too. They're moving across. They're getting a. Uh, they're getting a. They're gonna build a field down by Jack London Square. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Which I don't know where they're putting it, but it should be pretty – should be, like, really pretty. Kind of, like, like right up on the water, I would assume, just like the Giants ballpark. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So, getting into Golden State a little bit. There we go. Obviously uh, – Been this, chomping at the bit. There we go. <laughs> He's like, shut up, Dad. I want to ask him about yeah. the – Obviously <laughs> – talking yeah. about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this season was not uh, at all what anybody would have expected, um, you know, Steph got hurt early. We knew Clay wasn't going to play for pretty much most of the season with the ACL and recovering. Um, Kevin Durant left. Uh, Draymond was dealing with some injuries throughout the season. 
and then everything kind of gets cut short. What was your take on just how this season kind of went and, you know, what do you, what do you see for the future in the next coming years? Well, I think the main thing to remember is that the Warriors are still defending Western Conference champions because this yes. season didn't finish. That's right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they're they're going to be defending Western Conference champions with a lottery pick. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like I, I like where that is. Um, personally, well, I got hosed too. I bet my I bet one of my teammates in Tulsa ten bucks that the Warriors were going to make the playoffs. Like you know, yeah. I wasn't going to play. I was like, you know what? They'll make it. Like 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 day one of like opening night of the season. I was like, I'll bet you they use. No, they won't. Of course, yeah. stuff gets there and they're in the cellar. So yep. he, he's still trying to collect, and I, I think it's null and void. Yeah, I, I think that's just – I think it's BS. But, um, I mean, yeah, we took our longs. But also, it's like, like they just – like, as a fan base especially, like, we deserved it. Like, they've yeah. ran the NBA for the last five years. Like, yep, exactly. everyone's rooting against them. Like, like, the rest of the NBA needed the Warriors to be bad for a year. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? And they Definitely. needed, like, they needed LeBron back in the throne. Like, they, they needed that. I mean, it was it was good for the NBA. I mean, it sucked as a Warriors fan, but yeah, of course. Highlight of the season was when they beat the Rockets on Christmas Day. Yeah, I was I yeah, was so that was yeah. a great great night for me because I, I got that was incredible. All, yeah, all over social media, I'm like, yeah, oh I still think I, you know, I'm still a Warriors fan, guys. Like, I didn't. Yeah, leave. well, I just I mean, being a Warriors fan, like you have a special hatred for the Houston Rockets right now, exactly. so. Exactly. Like that was just good to see. Like if they would like if they would have beaten like like the Thunder or like well it's like the Clippers. Like if they would have beat yeah. the Clippers, I would have been like, eh, oh, like who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Although oh, yeah, the Clippers kind of like Pat Beverly and all them. Um, right. But yeah, like if they would have beaten like a, like a middle of the pack, like a different Western Conference team, it would have been like ah eh, whatever. But, like the fact that it was the Rockets, like exactly. Means a lot. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, and then you, you've got everybody talking about, oh, is this James Harden? Is, is this James Harden's year to get over the hump? And you know, everyone's yeah. talking about how great of a player he is, and I'm like, it, it's not going to happen. I, just James, me, well, I don't James see Harden, championship. James Harden, like especially if LeBron, LeBron has what two more years on his deal with the Lakers. Yeah, Harden needs to go to an Eastern Conference team because that's the only way he's going to make the finals. He's not going to get through the Warriors, especially if they have Steph, Clay, and Draymond healthy next year. And he's exactly. not going to get through LeBron and AD. Yep. He's not going to get through the Clippers either. If we're just no, throwing right. that out there, like, <laughs> definitely not. But that's Harden's problem is he needs to like so he needs to get out of the West and go to like a now LeBron less Eastern Conference. Yes. But no team in the East is going to allow him to play the style of basketball that he does. No, like definitely. the Rockets have just created this cult of personality and they let Harden just reign free and yep. literally do whatever he wants, man. Like if this guy scores 60 points, but he shoots 60 shots, like that's okay with them. Yeah, exactly. Like nobody, nobody, like Brad Stevens at the Celtics isn't going to put up with that. No. Like the Rockets no. coach was a Van Nurse or Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse, yeah, he's not going to, he's not going to put up with that. No. So, yeah, like. Harden's, Harden's got lucky that they basically just handed him the keys to the franchise and then brought in Dan Tony, who let him shoot even more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, that's that why, possible. like, right? That's why. Right. That's why Mello. That's why Mello's having such success in in Portland, but he wasn't in Houston. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, he wanted to start and all that, but like, Mello was good. He was good in OKC. Yep. And I, I'm talking like you know past prime Mello. Like yes. past like yeah. Yeah. Denver and New York, so he goes to OKC. He was good, not great. He goes to Houston, just flopped. Yep. Takes takes a year and a half off, and now is <laughs> lighting it up in Portland. Yeah. Like like what? Who's the odd man out here? Exactly. Exactly. No, I completely <laughs> like agree with that. Houston yeah. just doesn't play a winning style of basketball. No, and they, that's they because that's because they let James Harden just play street ball. Pretty yep. much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. So. You know, but, then, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, getting back to the Warriors, like I was just that was what they they won like eleven games this year, but yeah. that Houston won in a fan's mind, like that's worth like twenty wins. So, oh yeah, that was <laughs> we'll a, that it. was a huge deal for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, well, and seeing and also we haven't talked about they got Andrew Wiggins, which is yes, yeah, huge. That's I converted. Big. I converted the biggest Warriors hater ever I think on the planet that I've met at least into a Warriors fan just because like, he was like die hard ever since birth like huge LeBron James fan yep so naturally hated the Warriors right and 
diehard Minnesota sports fan. All Minnesota sports: Vikings, Timberwolves, Twins, Lynx, Twins, wild. Like wild, everything. Yeah. So when Wiggins got traded to the Warriors, he's like, "Man, I have to be a Warriors fan now." <laughs> like, I hate it, but I have to be a Warriors fan. So that was obviously good for me because now my like friends in Minnesota kind of have to root for the Warriors with me. Yeah, and now we can bond over that instead of just like you know talking trash. <laughs> um, but that was huge and like seeing Steph come back for you know the, the two games or whatever he came back for yeah um, but like in his in his return like he went crazy yep. and seeing like him play with Wiggins is just I, I think they're 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 a contender next year um, it's tough to deal with the Lakers height though it is. Like, those guys yeah. are just monsters yes monsters man Definitely. it's like playing Western Michigan in the NCHC yeah. <laughs> uh, He's not kidding. Yeah. Those guys are huge. My freshman yeah. year, my freshman year, they were the biggest team in the country. <clears throat> we were the smallest team in the country. Thank God. Well, they had, I think they had three or four defensemen on that team who were like six, at least six, three. They didn't have a defenseman below six foot. True. Yeah. Anyway, it's a guy <laughs> like me supposed to do. <laughs> wheels, baby, wheels. Yeah. Like, looking up at him, like, please take it easy, sir. Well, isn't it? I mean, isn't it harder for those big guys to to check you when you're not as, you know? Hey, those those vertical? guys take those guys take up so much space on the ice that there's nowhere to go. Like, yeah, like if you try to like, there's not like if you try to beat them wide, there's just no space between them and the boards. Like, right. the, and you eventually have to get to the net, so you have to like either just beat them absurdly clean like Connor McDavid does. Yeah. yeah, or like you have to, you know, protect the puck a little bit and get to the net. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not Connor McDavid, and <laughs> I'm not beating, I'm not lowering my shoulder and protecting the puck against Mike McKee and beating him to the far post. He was a big dude. Yeah. I think he was six six. Uh, I don't know about that. But he's, you know, what's crazy is like I, I was on his team this year in Tulsa. Like we were, oh, you're oh, awesome. really? I know. Okay. Oh yeah, but that's that's why I dropped his name. He was the first. Okay, good. Player. Um, like he's just stereo, like almost like a stereotypical, like, you know, tough guy, like in pro hockey where he's the nicest guy off the ice, you know, yep. <laughs> they say about all the tough guys in hockey and he's like one of the best teammates I've ever had. Um, I loved like getting to know him and hanging out with them and stuff. And, uh, he like, I'm, I'm glad, like I played with him and got to actually know like the real Mike McKeevers, just the guy who used to grit his teeth and growl at me at face offs. Yeah froth at the mouth you're coming <laughs> oh up. my god dude <laughs> this scary scary son of a gun yeah he's a big dude yeah oh man we like we we had to rein him in because i guess uh in the coast you know if you had 10 fights every fight after that was a suspension and he okay. had like eight with like two months left to go in the season <laughs> so like coach was like yelling at the bell like you can tell you like you can tell guys are like asking mikey to fight and like he kind of wants it, and like coach is screaming his head off, like like leaning up, like over the bench, foot on the boards, like Mikey, like don't fight, like you're at eight, like we need just and Mikey's just zoned in, like nope, I'm fighting this guy. <laughs> so like, he's nope, kind of like, like the Draymond Green in a way of the ECHL. Um, yes and no, I don't know, like that kind of. Like, Mikey's, Mikey's smarter than that. Like, Draymond gets going. And also, that they play different roles. You know, Draymond's like a jack-of-all-trades. And, yep. I mean, no offense to Mikey. I love him. But Mikey's not a jack-of-all-trades. Oh, I, I <laughs> he, did, so. he did go on a scoring streak this year, though. Yeah, he had, like, three goals. He went back-to-back -back games with a goal. And one of them, he scored two. So, like, that was, that was, like, one of the most fun parts of the season where you're just talking about Mike McKee being the hottest stick in the ECHL. <laughs> I, I, that's awesome, but I meant more so like when he has all the technicals, you got to kind of reel him in. Is more. Oh, I, I guess yeah. a little bit. I mean, yeah. I feel like we're trying to badmouth Mike. You know, I don't want to do that. But. Oh, you're not. <laughs> we won't send this to him when we're done. It's no big deal. <laughs> uh -huh. Who else? Are, who else is there that uh, that I would know that you're playing with in, in Tulsa? Uh, yeah. Jared Thomas, Charlie Samper. Wow, they were the NCHC guys. Um, yep. Jake Randolph was with us for a bit. Oh, dude, Jacob Benson. Benson. Played He's like there? like a month and a half with us. Oh, uh, man, I didn't know that. Yeah, like he he bounced around a little bit this year, but he ended up in Tulsa. It was a lot of fun. I was at I was in Tulsa. Um, was that last year? Yeah, last yeah, year. Yep. We had uh, I can't remember the name of the place right now. It, it's like the oldest music hall in Tulsa. 
Right oh, downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my parents went to that when they visited. Yeah, and we had uh, we had the old arm wrestling tournament in there. I mm-hmm. we do that. <laughs> That was it. we uh we actually had like a, a decent uh a decent NCHC group on our team. We had two Huskies, two Bulldogs, and uh, and then the Western Bronco. And then when Randolph was there, we had a Maverick. Um, no Nodak. No. Who's the coach? Rob Murray. Okay. An AHL Hall of Famer, actually. I know the Former name. Tough guy. I know yeah. The name. So but yeah, we like we had, we had a decent amount of NCHC guys in there. That's good. Well, they're all over the place, man. When when games are going, I mean, I there's seemingly it seems like there's a guy in every game somewhere. So seriously, yeah. And I mean, when you were doing the podcast with Star Man, like you, you had the perfect opportunity to name drop guys, myself included, and you just didn't. Yeah, you know. Who did I the drop? Great thing about the great thing about being a hockey broadcaster is you, you get to know the players. And you get to know them on you know a personal level, and they come up to you before games, and they you don't even have to go up to them. You just have these bonds and this relationship, and you know there's players that you know we still text and keep in contact with. And I'm listening to this, and I'm going, oh, perfect. Like, what about, what about Dave? He could have mentioned you, huh? What about Dave? He could have mentioned you. I'm having you on here now, not once but twice. That's got to yeah, make up I, for something. I guess. I guess. Well, so 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 you beat Dave. Congrats. What's that? I said you beat Dave. Congrats. Talk that <laughs> up. Another victory for Holden. Hey man, whatever it takes. I'm sure I'm sure he'll hear this and I hope he texts me apologizing, Dave. He will. I had uh Sean Richland, who's a friend of mine. Sean and I worked together um what five years here in Michigan doing the CCHA back in the day. And then he came to Cleveland with me for you know the two years I was there and did TV with me and He's like, I got a bone to pick with David Quinn, you know, because I know Quinny was the coach there. Who, yeah. Of course, coach, of course. And we did one with him. And last time he saw my son, he was eight or nine years old. Now he's firing questions at him. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> but it was funny. It reminded me of what you were just saying there. He's like, I got a bone to pick with Quinny. He didn't That's agree funny. What he said about uh, Kyle Connor is what it was. I got a bone to pick with Starman. That's right. So <laughs> let's see that's that's pretty much every conversation I've ever had with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> got a bone to pick with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, did we did I name anybody or did I just No, ne- well neither of you guys named anyone. So Okay. It. Well, so but I'm we, like I'm thinking like here's like the perfect opportunity like you build it right up like go ahead and name drop someone. I was I was literally getting ready to text her right then and there. But and see, here's just, the thing, man. <laughs> Radio like, silence. It's like <laughs> if I start naming guys, I'm going to piss somebody then, then, off. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. Somebody's going to be pissed. Exactly. What, do you mean, what ended up happening that. anyway, so you can't win. <laughs> right. You didn't name anyone, and people still get upset. So right. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> what the hell? I, we're, we're thrilled to have Robbie on with us. And yeah, what definitely. else? You, you got uh, more. I, you, this kid can sit here for an hour <laughs> and talk Warriors hoop with you. So, oh, um, hold on. Going back, just a little touch on 2K because we talked about that. Um, yeah, yeah. The same guy, the same like LeBron fan who's a Warriors fan now because of Wiggins. He made me watch a scary movie on Netflix. So I told him I'd never seen any of them, you know? He goes, yeah. dude, I'm not playing 2K with you ever again until you watch scary movie. <laughs> he just bullied me into it. So, all right, I guess I got to do this. One of one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It's bad. Yeah, they are. Those, it's it's zero awful. substance, man. It was horrible. But I'm like, like I kept, I kept checking. Like, how much longer? How much longer? But yeah, I watched it, so now we can play again. <laughs> so Giannis Antetokounmpo, obviously go. impressive yeah. pronunciation. Wow. <laughs> hey, he's not my kid for nothing. Uh, <laughs> let's hear no. Let's hear Ben do it. I don't think he could do that. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pretty, that's close. close, yeah. yeah pretty close, pretty yeah. yeah. So, Giannis, I'm not doing obviously, it. sir, you do it. <laughs> I just said I'm not doing it. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah. All right, you pass. Yeah, that's good. Right. It's easier. Yeah. It's easier when you hear someone say it first. That's true. I just yeah. call him Giannis. Yeah. The Greek Giannis, freak. Yeah. The Greek. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, one of the best players in the NBA right now. Probably going to be one of the best NBA players in, you know, in the future. I don't know if you've heard any rumors about him signing in 2021 with Golden State, but if he does, oh, look at his face. which team do you think is better, <laughs> Kevin Durant in Golden State or Giannis in Golden State? Ooh, putting you on the spot, Jackson. <laughs> uh, well, I'd hope 
I'd hope that Giannis is a little lower maintenance than Durant. Yes. I, I, <laughs> like I would... now that now that we're in quarantine and Draymond has too much time to talk on social <laughs> media, he's just been shredding KD. I guess every yep. moment he gets. But you know, he yep. went on that podcast. Yeah. And did that, but I don't know, man. I, it also makes me think: like, <laughs> would they get rid of Draymond if they got Giannis? Yeah, that's a, that's another thing to think about. Because like Draymond, Draymond is probably like of those of those three. Oh, did you lose me? Oh, there we Just go. Matt, I got right? low battery. I got low battery on my phone now. Oh. <laughs> um, of those three that kind of built the Warriors franchise and dynasty. Yep. Draymond is by far like the first one to go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Although I mean. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't think they'd get rid of Clay Thompson before they get rid of Draymond. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see that happening either. I mean, you have to. You have to keep the Splash Brothers together. I mean, you can't not have. Them. Yeah, but like we said, Draymond is a jack of all trades. But that okay, so if yeah. if you get Giannis, I think you just get rid of Draymond. It's like replacing Harrison Barnes with Kevin Durant. It's a trade. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So, um, I think you get rid of Draymond because. Does Draymond Draymond might make more money than Clay too, which would help get his contract off the books or whatever. They yeah, that's that's a good point. Do. So, I think I think Draymond would probably have to go if they get rid yeah. of Giannis, which or if they get Giannis. I mean, um, which honestly, like it sucks. I have a Draymond jersey. I have a Draymond bobblehead. Yep, big Draymond fan. I actually met him. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, at, 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 at SFO Airport, um, my dad got a picture with him, and I didn't. It was tough. Uh, I was flying home <laughs> from Minnesota in the summer, and it was just—it was actually just after uh, the 2016 Finals, where like you know they won they won 73 games in the regular season, but they blew the three-one lead, obviously. Yep. And I was flying home into San Francisco, and I guess he was like flying back to Michigan or whatever, and um. My dad just noticed him, like, when they were walking through the terminal to pick me up. So, you know, like, that's Draymond Green. There's no one around him. So, he, like, went up, talked to him, whatever, asked for a picture. And, like, you know, Draymond, like, looks around and goes, all right, sounds good. Like, once he noticed, no one was there. So, my dad got a picture with Draymond. And he was, like, texting me as soon as I landed. Like, hey, like, Draymond, he said he's going home. You know, there's a flight to Michigan out of gate, you know, 41. You're at 44, like, walk. Like, look for him. Like, all right, like, you know, what, like, what am I looking for? And he just sends me the picture. He goes, this is what he's wearing. Right, <laughs> so I, like, I did, like, laps around the terminal because I didn't see him at first. He was hiding. He was, like, hiding way off. And I uh, had his hat, like, super low, like, had the neck pillow, like, around it. Like, yep. like hood pulled up. Like, again, if I didn't do, like, multiple passes by and didn't know what I was looking for, I wouldn't have seen him. I went over there, like, dapped him up talk just like hey man like congrats on a great season like you know you got fans in minnesota i'm sure everywhere in the country but like just letting you know like you know you're an inspiration all that hey i appreciate it so, hey like okay i got a picture real quick he goes man like i take one i gotta take a thousand right now nah. <laughs> I, I mean like that's fair like i like can't be mad at that so it's like, ah, yeah. Yeah, like I, I got you because now like he's in the terminal there's hella people around yeah, so, makes sense. Yeah. I was like, hey, man, like, I get it. That's fair. Like, mm-hmm. tapped up again. I was like, just want to say, you know, congrats on a great year, man. Like, you got big things ahead of you still. So, but it was one of the highlights of my life. I didn't even get a picture. <laughs> I I had a similar thing happen at uh, Michigan International Speedway. This was back when I worked in, in sports and news. And uh, Adam Sandler, when the movie Click came out. Yeah. He was the grand marshal for the race. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm probably – I don't know, three feet away. Nah, probably, I, I'm probably, honestly, Robbie, I was probably social distancing back then and I didn't know it. I was like six feet away from him. And Bill Janitz, who was the track media relations guy, he knew what a fan I was. And I said, come on. And he said the same thing. He's like, Penny, if I let you get him, all these people outside the gator, I go, let me just take the room right here. Yeah. He like, wouldn't do it, man. I was like, ah. Anyway, <laughs> how much battery do you got left? Uh, well, I can't really hear right now. There's a chopper going over. Um, sixteen. All right. I can I can always run inside and hop on the charger. It's okay. We'll we'll keep you for a couple more things. So I I want to ask you. Um, give me your top uh top five all time Golden State Warriors. I'm yeah. I'm very curious to hear this list. 
Well, like, do you want like an all-time starting lineup or just top five? All just your five? just your top yeah, five favorite top guys. Five. Favorite guys that ever favorite wore the Warriors. Favorite or best? Huh? Favorite or best? Because like, there's there's a big difference. Your favorite, yeah. Your your okay. Bobby Jackson's top five Warriors. <laughs> My top five Warriors. Yep. Well, I mean, like, like the best Warriors. I, I'll give you both. The best Warriors, I would say. Okay. Like, you have to put Wilton there. Homie scored 100 points. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, he was also done playing before I was alive. So, like, I can't put him in my favorite. <laughs> Me too, I think. No, he was still um, – <laughs> um, All right. All time. Steph. Baron Davis. Wow. Wilt Wilt at center. Oh man. <laughs> Try to think like do you put Hardaway in there? Hardaway or I wondered if you'd go there. Yeah. Or you're Rick Barry. How about Rick Barry? He was a stud. Yeah, another guy. He yeah. won a title, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um Granny style, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my uh, my I gave my guy on 2K his free throw animation. Nice. <laughs> Solid. Just Love just it. for just for laughs. Um, so I guess there's four. Steph, Baron Davis. Baron Davis wasn't really with the Warriors for that long, but. Um, Must have made a hell of an impact. To have them on your list. You oh, well, just, yeah. Like, that's, like, growing up, I was, yeah. you know, 10 years old, 9 years old, like, watching that We Believe team, so. Yep. Okay. See how much he knows about your team, Robbie? He knew that right yeah. away. Yep. It's not my it's our team. I like, what yeah, do you mean my, exactly, it's our yeah. team? Yeah. Um oh, man, like I love Jason Richardson too, but like I just feel like oh. there's someone like from before like my time that I'm missing. Dream oh I guess I could, if you're what doing like an all time exactly. if you're doing like an all time you have to put like Kevin Durant in there just because he's a stud. Okay. But, yeah. like eh. No Chris Mullen? See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking yeah. Mullen, Barry, Hardaway. Like, I don't know. That's a good group, man. There's yeah. no right or wrong. I just wanted to get your opinion on it. Yeah, I suppose. My favorite, though, would be – Lay it on us. I would go top five favorite, Steph, Clay, Baron Davis, right off the hop. Yep. Um, honestly, Steven Jackson. Oh, yeah, I forgot he played there, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I used to have like, – I had a Baron Davis jersey and a Steven Jackson jersey. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, well, because it was number one Jackson. Like, that was dope. Like, yeah. can, you go back, can you go back and play another year at St. Cloud so I can call you Steven when you score a goal now? No, no. I wish, but no. <laughs> Action Jackson, dude. I can't, every time I go to San Antonio, that's what they call me. Even in Tulsa. <laughs> Action Jackson. You know, Thanks, you're the man. you're the second guy from that team. I'm, I'm, let me think. Well, I mean, of course, ball game. I gave him his nickname. Yeah. And I used to mess around with Brodzinski and call him Johnny Hockey because he was playing the same time as Gaudreau was. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean but that that one didn't really stick. Johnny Gaudreau already had that one, but yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of that. Um, I'm proud to have two guys on the same cloud <laughs> that have nickname. Um. So. I got, yeah, so Steph Clay, Baron Davis, Steven Jackson. No. Are talking about jerseys? No, we're talking about, oh, my dad came back. Ben says sorry he didn't hit you up, by the way, last year. Sorry, he Bob. Today, yeah. You know where I live. I didn't know you were that <laughs> close, man. Hey, what's up? It's all good. I'm so- I'm sorry, man. I had to take care of this dude. You know how that is. <laughs> All right. Hey, anytime. Next I'm time always, we're there. I'm always up for a beer or a burger anytime when you're in the area. Done. Thank I might you. even drive yeah. to Sacto if you have to do something up there. It's all worth it. Yeah, right. we've driven to Sacramento twice in the last two weeks just to golf. It's like yeah, 90 yeah, minutes. Saw, your 90 minutes one on, way. Yeah, your dad got on one of the Facebook posts I had, and it started a riot. And he's like, yeah, it's fine out here. We're playing. The cups are inverted. And this guy wouldn't leave me alone about it. Yeah. <laughs> Social okay. media, man. Okay. Is your son running... driving you nuts, Bob? What's that? Is your son driving you nuts in quarantine? Not too bad. Not as bad as I would have thought, actually. But yeah. Really? <laughs> so, having, a hard, <laughs> having a hard time keeping the beer in stock, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Other than that, no, nah, it's been fun. I, I love having them around. That's great. I know you guys are close. I was just playing around. You know that. Yeah. We're trying to get his top five warriors here. And I, I don't. I don't know who to put in the last five. You got to put Jay Rich, five. man. For me, yeah, probably Jay Rich. You're right. Yep. So funny um, story about him, Robbie. So a guy I worked with in Lansing. He's now works in Detroit as a news anchor, and uh, you know he was he was there when in uh, when when they won the Big Ten championship. He's doing uh, you know he's out reporting. I was anchoring, and he comes back. And he goes. Dude, man, I got I got Jay Rich, man. He's coming back. I go, you haven't been in this business long enough, man. It's the kiss of death. Because he said he was coming back. Yeah. <laughs> then he goes fifth overall of the Warriors that Mel, year. Yeah. Right. Yep. So well, I'll go, I'll go old school and you help him out because I've been watching him a lot longer, man. Right um, on. What do you got? I would go with Nate Thurman. Oh wow, okay. yeah. Yeah. Way throwback. Yeah. Okay. Nate, I, I would put Nate up even against Chamberlain in terms of center for the franchise. Really? Wow. Okay. No joke. I think that, I think he did more here than than. Oh, that's fair. That is yeah. true. He yeah. did more here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By the time I really started watching, Thurman was here and Chamberlain was in L.A. Yeah. When did Chamberlain yeah. retire? Oh, you know, Bob. Oh gosh. Four seventy-five, five maybe. I thought. I thought it was mid seventies. Yeah. 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 Maybe seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I'll let you guys get back to it. Enjoy. I'm enjoying this. Uh, you want to try to see you, man. Oh, the portable one? Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Anytime you guys are out, happy to do it. Next awesome. time we're there. Yeah, for sure. Promise. Thank you. Um, is it charged up? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, my, my top five is a little more modern. No, I get I suppose, it. But that's just that's just my what I've seen. That's good, man. Matt Bar I like Matt Barnes though. Matt Barnes is kind of a badass. Yeah. You know, I gotta tell you, my son here, as much as he loves Steph, and I'm thrilled that he's got uh, you know uh, an athlete that he he idolizes the way he does with Steph. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What's up? No, you're good. <laughs> I, I I just wanted I want to throw something out there. I want to get your reaction to this. So. As okay. much as I'm happy that Luke looks up to a guy like Steph Curry, because I think he's a great role model. But yeah. tell him who. Tell him who. I I think Sneaky might be a second favorite Warrior player of all time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, for me, I mean, it'd probably have to be. I would say probably Jason Richardson. But I really liked Monte Ellis. As That's well. not who I thought you were gonna say. Who did you think I was gonna say? Come on, man. What? You always talked about him. Who? Uh, how do I do this? How do I play charades and not get caught here on when the camera's rolling, man? Uh, <laughs> give, give, give hints. We'll see who can guess it first. He just retired, I believe. Um, um, he was a Iguodala. No, no, nope, not Iguodala. He was. I do, I do love Andre though. Andre I can't believe you. I can't believe you haven't said it. Who just retired, dude. I know who you're talking about. He, uh, he was, he was, uh, he was a key piece. To them Sean winning. Livingston. Thank you. Sean Livingston. Yeah. Sean, he, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves Sean Livingston. Yeah. I, um, you know. Iguodala didn't even retire. I was yeah, just thinking. I don't even know. I mean, he, he was like a dark down. horse. Everyone loved Iguodala. Yeah. He might I mean, have to be in my top five. Yeah. Good player. I liked him too. Yeah. Good player. I don't know who I'd take out, though. It's yeah. a tough list, man. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. We had a lot. I saw. When I was stationed out there one time, I saw Hard or not Hardaway. I saw Mullen. I was going up with a buddy. We were going up to Walnut Creek, and here comes Mullen in his Range Rover right next to <laughs> us, and we like slowed down, like honked on, we're like waving. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, That's pretty awesome. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't, but I'll be honest. I don't think I saw Rush in that building twice, but I don't think I ever saw a Warriors game in there. Believe it or not. So really, a lot of A's games. Um. I I think the A's desperately need a new stadium. Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, it sucks they're not going to live as close, but they 100% need a new stadium. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what's on the agenda for you the rest of the day there, man? Yoga, actually. Yoga? Hmm. Yeah, doing yoga. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work out, too, but, like, yoga would be the, the outlier. Um, right on. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Like I've been just working out in the backyard. Uh, I'm drinking. I'm drinking this 
thing. Like, I usually don't drink the meathead jugs of water, but, like, <laughs> I had my dad pick them up because, like, trainer in San Antonio, I like, guess Springfield now, um, texted me, like, hey, like, do you have any, like, weights at home? I said, like, I have an eight-pound medicine ball and, like, a jump rope. That's, like, all I have. He goes, all right, well, like, if you can, try to find some weights. So I asked my dad to pick these up, and I'll just uh, I'll drink them and then fill them with sand, and that's going to be my weights. There you go. During quarantine. Nice. So, I like yeah, it. I got I to gotta work out um, and then do yoga and – I don't know. Yeah, that's probably it. I've been I've been waking up at like eleven o'clock every day. I actually set an alarm to make sure I didn't oversleep to uh, to be be with you guys. Like just just in case, you know. I don't. I usually don't sleep till noon, but like anywhere from like nine thirty to like eleven eleven fifteen is usually when I've been waking up. Well, I've been sleeping till like ten some days. Although this morning I got a, uh, a former Michigan hockey player is building a twelve-unit condominium building about a hundred feet outside my window. Oh, <laughs> Aaron yeah. Bruch and I uh, yeah. did a lot of his games, and uh, so I had the uh, beep, beep, beep of a bobcat about eight thirty. That's about the earliest I've been up, Robbie, since I worked. Really, the last week of February is the last week I worked for CBS before everything got shut down. So, but I stay up too late, man. I got to go to bed earlier. Same, yeah. I stay up till about 1 a.m. playing 2K like every night. <laughs> yeah. Well, be careful. My son might be playing with your dad on Fortnite later. <laughs> Get him on Warzone. There you go. Warzone. Nah, dude. If you see him on Fortnite, it's a free kill. <laughs> <laughs> Having the stats. <laughs> Having the stats. A free kill. We'll throw, we'll um, throw him in. Uh, I gotta, are, I gotta, you, are you a PlayStation guy, Luke? Yeah, I'm on PlayStation, yeah. All right, yeah, we'll have to play 2K then. Sounds good, yeah. Get on there. For sure. You can do that. Well, uh, obviously you can do it online. <laughs> yeah, Duh. Yeah. yeah. I still got uh, Guitar that's, Hero. That's on my living room floor. I oh, got really? Yeah. Love that. Dude, see, that's also a thing. Like, people are getting into all these, like, retro video games. With, yeah. Uh, with quarantine, I've been seeing Guitar Hero. I've been seeing, like, GameCube. Um, yep. People are getting back into the Wii. Just yeah, funny. We, we come back. Yeah. Right there, Look at that thing. <laughs> Whose stick is that in the background? Whose stick is that? This one? The, yeah, oh, there's only there's only one stick, isn't there? Oh, that, that's Besser's stick. Yeah. I know you're gonna uh, hate yeah, that's one. that's a good one to have. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did he you sign many, it for you? No, he gave it to me. You know how many people on Twitter, so I skated with him one day, the team and Barry let me out and skate. We just did one with Brad last week, and I told him the story. And I bet you that I've had 15 to 20 people on Twitter have seen that in various pictures or in videos now that I've got a TV studio in my living room. And they, <laughs> they, can, they can tell. I'm like, how did you know? Like, in, in his, I mean, obviously, you can see the 1-6 on there when you hold it up, and he's got all kinds of other numbers on there. I'm like, how the uh, hell can you tell that from that? Yeah. Amazing. Right-handed, right-handed right-handed rib core with a lifted blade if you yeah. have told me north dakota then i would have told you Bessie. yeah yeah I mean, that could be that could be any number of defensemen on omaha but yeah yeah if you would have told me north dakota that that would have been Bessie. you played against him what you play against him both years were you guys the same class? brock yeah yeah we're the same class we uh brock and i played together in we did a usa tournament mm. um the ivan holinka one together Go when on. we were uh, 17, and, yeah, so that's where I first met him. And then, like, we just obviously stayed in contact and stuff. And then his – actually, his uncle coached me my second year in Chicago. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, we did the All-American Prospect game together. Um, that's about it, but – oh, and we played in the Beauty League together, too. So, like, I, I still see him, and – talk cool. to him and stuff but the yeah, beauty that's just, that's <laughs> i love, yeah, following that's, I love following that's gonna twitter. be uh the following the beauty league on twitter there's a lot of a lot of uh nchd guys that you know in there yeah <laughs> i'd like to i'd like to fly in for a couple of weeks and call some of those games that'd be fun <laughs> <laughs> well yeah they didn't they didn't do they didn't do uh they didn't do broadcast last year they just did it like after like they record the games and then just did the highlights and stuff. My first year they did like broadcast, like live broadcasts. Yeah. Um, and then this year, like, who knows? Like we, uh, like we haven't heard anything, you know. So right. I'm hoping that they can still do it, but yeah, I, don't, I, I just I don't know. Maybe they'll be able to do it like once we get like a little 
things obviously like open up a little more, maybe they'll just do it broadcast. Like we'll play in an empty arena or something, you know? Right. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. My parents actually came out last year and watched a couple of games. Yeah. Um, like they flew out like for a week and spent a week with me in Minnesota and golfing with my dad, all that. But yeah, they came to a couple of games. It's a lot of fun. Like it's, it's for the fans and mostly for the kids and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's summer hockey and uh, you can't complain about that, especially, I mean, it's, Probably the highest level of summer hockey I've seen. So yeah, yeah there's, NHL there's, guys, Stanley Cup champs, NCAA champs, all that. So yeah, there's and, uh, again, it's a know, lot of fun. Do you know Steve Alexi? You know the name? No. He was. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We were together in Cleveland for one year. He ended up getting up with the Caps. He's 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 older than you, obviously, but he does one here in Detroit. And uh, oh really. Yeah, he's, he had some guys. And Cam Johnson, you played against Sam. Cam's from here, obviously. He played in it. And a big smile. You scored at him a few times, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cam, Cam's, Cam's a good guy. He's a funny guy. Um, he's a good he, guy. Yeah, like he, played, he played with uh, with Blake in Florida this year, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Blake's wife actually sent me a Snapchat of Cam driving in the car one day and just goes, uh, Cam's talking about how you scored on him right now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew so, you did. I don't know if I well, called him. It's, it's just it's it. funny because, like, that happened, like, recently. And then, like, you just mentioned it. So That's great. Um, no, Cam's, Cam's a funny guy. Um, what news he scored on him, too, in the plug? Like, I guess they, like, knew each other before or something, but. Like they they were talking trash like lightheartedly right. and friendly, but like like Cam would like chirp him every time he made a save, and Newsy finally scored on him, so we got to let him know. And like yeah, like Cam would like make a point like when he skated back to the bench, like he'd make a point to like get Newsy's way and like say something like ah you suck, can't beat me like <laughs> like little shit like that. So yep, That's yeah. Great. Um, I know I know there's one in Chicago too that Kane plays in like a yep. summer league. Yeah. So, Thankfully, I don't have to go against him. <laughs> Good God. luck, dude. They're nice. like, there's, there's some guys in the beauty where like I just like, I don't even try to like defend them because if I do, they'll just make me look stupid. Right. So it's easier for my image. Like if I don't try and they beat Understood. me, versus if I do try and they beat me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Right. I yeah. totally. They're get gonna it. beat me either way. So like, I might as well like save face. That's right. <laughs> You got anything else for him? Yeah, I mean, I think the last thing, you know, just because the last dance is a pretty hot commodity right now. He hasn't watched it, though. Well, I know he hasn't watched it, but it's not about that. Oh, okay. It's more or less I about – let him talk. It's more or less about – I don't know if you heard Michael Jordan uh, a few months ago <laughs> say that he doesn't think Steph Curry is Hall of Fame ready yet. What's yeah, that think? was absurd. Yeah. What do you, what that do you was think? ridiculous. He's the only unanimous MVP in history. Exactly. Like, yeah, get the hell out of here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> on that note this has been robbie jackson i'm kidding no i mean yeah like steph curry's not at the level of michael jordan or lebron james or any number of hall of famers but saying that like if steph curry retired right now three-time champ multiple time all-star led yep. the league in steals for one or two years yeah and he's a two-time mvp only unanimous ever led yep. a team to win 73 games he broke his – he's broken his own records numerous times. He's the only yeah. person to ever make 400 threes in a season. Nobody had ever made 300 three-pointers in a season, and wow, he yeah. made 400 his unanimous year. It's just – that's like – I don't know, man. I'm not going to – I don't want to sit here and badmouth Michael Jordan because he's arguably the greatest player of all time, but, like, like he, I, I think he might have some insecurities now that he can't play anymore, you know? Because, like, yeah. when he could play, he could yeah. put his words – or he could back his words up with yep. his yep. play. Yeah, but, like, that. now that he can't – like, do like, you know, like, how the whole Last Dance, like, documentary, like, was approved? By him. It was, yeah. But it was approved the day of Cleveland's championship parade, or, like, a day after the championship parade when LeBron came back from – down three one really huh. i didn't know yeah. that yeah yeah like there's just wow like he, he sits there and wants watches lebron who's debated as being better than him yep. he watches lebron 
beat a team that broke his own record of wins in the regular season. Yeah. And that's all right, you know, now now we gotta now we gotta air that doc. Like we gotta remind people, you know, like ah. I don't know, man. Like I don't want to take anything away from him as a athlete and as a businessman. Yep. But like 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 it's just some of the stuff like doing that and then yeah, saying that Steph isn't a Hall of Famer and like there was some there was some other absurd quote that he had. I can't remember, but no. it's like, come on. Like, you had your time, Mike. You did. Now it's no, time. Yeah, exactly. Stuff, <clears throat> stuff occurs to Hall of Fame. 100%, oh, yeah, man. That's, right that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, as soon as he's eligible, he's How in. Not? Yeah, like, first ballot. Come on. Yeah, yeah. 100% agree with you, Definitely. man. Yeah. Well, no, the, the Luke, Luke triggered me now. So I just went on a little <laughs> rant. Hey, man. You know, I'm trying to teach him some stuff, man. Like, the, the, you've seen Big Daddy, right? Wait till he unfreezes. <laughs> you, uh, seen, you, you cut out on me there. I've yeah, seen no, what? I, you've seen Big Daddy, right? No. Never mind then. Because <laughs> there's a funny line. I'll leave it out. But um, there's a line in there where he basically tells a little kid, he's like, I'll show you some cool stuff along the way. There's uh, well, that's fine, man. That's Adam Sandler's in there, right? That's yeah, Sandler. that's when the kid gets dropped on his doorstep and he lies about yeah. being his dad and all that. And um. Jake Wallen has seen every Adam Sandler movie ever and can quote it like religiously. That would have been useful for me to know this past season and other <laughs> seasons because I'm right there with him. I need to get him on. Yeah. Um, he, uh, but like he would always quote Big Daddy. Really? Like, yeah. And I would just like laugh and act like I knew it. I was like, oh, yeah, like, good one, Wallen. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just easy when he says something like that and he's got like this like grin on his face like waiting for somebody to respond you know like, right, oh, yeah. Yeah, good little, little, yeah yeah i like man. jake good dude man you got a he bunch of good guys dude. you had on that team and still are up there so yeah we had a lot of fun you did man we'll uh appreciate you doing this brother yeah. we'll uh we'll do another one we'll do we'll talk we'll talk all puck in the next one how's that <laughs> me and you Sounds boring, but all right. Can you fit me in or not? <laughs> I know you got a lot. Uh, of yeah, man. All right. Just cool. yeah. I mean, my dad will be happy. He gets to take over the PlayStation. All right. Well, perfect. <laughs> well, I'll be in touch, and uh, yeah, of course. You know, thanks for doing this, and uh, I'll see if I can get Besser on talk about you two when you play together too. <laughs> oh man, he, that guy's got a lot on his hockey resume. He probably doesn't remember that. Oh, he remembers. Make yeah. sure I ask him. I'll Brock. try to get him on. Uh, Brock's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Take it easy. Thanks for having me, man. This is Bobby, thanks. I'm gonna yeah. let I'm gonna let my son uh, bring us home so we got a nice cap on the end of this. So <laughs> thanks for doing this, brother. Good to see you. Stay safe and uh, best to your family. Here's Luke to bring us out. Yeah. So once again, thanks from both of us, Robbie, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Great to talk to you about tons of different things. Um, obviously, we'll hope to see you soon again and uh, talk soon for sure. Um, you know, and for everyone listening, thanks for listening to the No Holding Back podcast. You can find us anywhere on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, anywhere else you can find podcasts. Be sure to check us out. Thanks for listening. And uh, that's all for today.